Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to put a face cam in your video in Sony Vegas Pro. This should work on all the versions, like 8 through 12. I don't know if there's more, I think it started at 8. But it should work on all the versions of Sony Vegas Pro, Platinum, Movie Studio, whichever one you have. So yeah, we'll just get started. Alright, so now that we're in the Vegas, we're just going to open up our videos. And we'll do... Video one. Okay, one's got to be the face cam and one's got to be the gameplay. Well, I don't want to open them. I just wanted to import them. Okay, yeah, one's the face cam and one's the gameplay. So, our gameplay, our video, or whatever you're putting your face cam over. So, you're just going to open up the face cam, put it onto your first two tracks. And then, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller with this little minus bar over to the right. And then you're going to open up your gameplay or whatever else it is. And you're going to put that on the tracks below it. So you should have four tracks all in all. Wow, I made that way too big. Hold on. Okay, that's good enough. No, wait, that's still too big. There we go. Okay, so you're going to have these four tracks. Your face cam, and then below it, your audio and video for your gameplay, or whatever it is. So once you have your face cam and that imported and onto your tracks, you're just going to go over here to the left on the video track. You see track motion. You're going to click that and come up here and make this however small you want it to. You can see in this preview area over here that it got smaller when I shrunk it over here. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what you're going to do. Just make it a little smaller and move it around. And if that doesn't happen, if you get something like this and it gets way out of aspect, make sure that you have this up here, lock aspect ratio clicked. So, alright, I'm going to undo that and just make it however big you want it to be. Whoops, I don't have aspect ratio clicked. Okay, make it however big you want it to be and move it into a corner somewhere. And if you really want to get it perfect, Actually, no, 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 no. Before you do that, you can hit X, exit out right here. You don't have to save it. It'll automatically save. And then go to Event Pan Crop. And this is where you can crop it. Uh, okay, I have Lock Aspect Ratio unclicked over here, so I can just make it smaller this way instead of going from a corner. So I'll do this so that just my face is in it. And then I'll exit out of that and go back into Track Motion. And now I'll put it in the corner. So to get it perfectly in a corner, get it as close as you can. You don't have to get it real good. And then you'll see over here on the track motion, you'll see position for X and Y. And you're just going to want to make it as close as you can get it with your eyes. You can just click this down or this up arrow, and it'll take it however far that is. I don't know if it's millimeters or what, but just click it, and it'll bring it closer to the border. And just keep on clicking that until you get it so it's just the face cam in the corner. So then exit out of that, and that is it. That's all you have to do. So now if you play the video, I'm going to turn this down a little bit because it's probably going to be loud. This one especially. I don't have to turn this down. Okay, I'll play the video now. Okay, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to play so the video. Have video. turn this on draft real quick just so you guys can see it because it's pretty fucking awesome and there you go now you know how to do it so thank you guys for watching feel free to ask me to do other tutorials i will always put them up if you guys just ask me to you can comment or private message me and don't forget to rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys later